Okay, this tutorial I am going to discuss the file browser application uh, for the iPad. Uh, as you can see the file browser has got a big FB on it and what this application allows you to do is access um, all of your content um, on the CMS servers whether it's uh, the groups drive, the public drive, uh, your own home folder, any of those you can access all of your folders and documents uh, from your iPad through this application. So let's go ahead and get started. We will uh, click on the file browser application. And as you can see it opens up. On the left hand side you see uh, local files whether it's my files, iTunes, Sync, uh, or your photo library. What we're going to do is we're going to add a location. So I'm going to go ahead and click the plus and then it asks for an address. Uh, the address is going to be backslash backslash and the server name we're going to use Hopewell Server 7415 SVS 01 and then another backslash and then I'm going to type in uh, home and the dollar sign and then I'm going to do another backslash and then if you're an administrator you would type in administrator if you're a teacher you would type in a teacher and if students are using this they would type in students. So depending on uh, what folder uh, your home folder is located in is what you would type. So my home folder is located in the teachers section. So I'm going to type teachers and then backslash and then my account username. Okay. So then I'll hit done. It'll just let me know if I want to access that one folder. I can disable something. Well, I don't want to just access that one folder. I want that, that folder to appear as well as any other folders that I have access to uh, like the groups drive and the public drive so I'll click OK and I'm going to hit save in the upper right hand corner and you can see it connects on the left hand side underneath remote files so I will go ahead and click on 7415 SVS01 it'll ask for a username and password so I'm going to go ahead and type in my username and password And it asks if I want to remember uh, this every time I log in, and I'm, I do. So I'm going to hit yes. So as you can see at the very top, my personal uh, folder is there, my home folder, as well as a few other folders. You don't really need to worry about the apps, CMS, PROV, or Express folders. Can't really do anything with those uh, anyways. The two that you're probably going to be interested in are the, are the groups in the public folder. So if I just access my home folder... Uh, you can see I only have two folders in, in there, my pictures and my videos. I really don't store much to this folder anyway. So let's go back and uh, we'll access the groups drive. And you can see all of the folders that are currently located on the groups drive. Let's go ahead and click on, uh, we'll use athletics. And then once again, all of the files and folders populate that are located in the athletics folder on the groups drive. Um, we'll scroll down and find uh, men's basketball and if you do not have access to one of these folders if you've been blocked out or if your account does not have access it will actually say uh, you don't have access to the folder you're, you decline you can't open it so uh, it's not like you can use this to access folders that you don't have access to so uh, we can see uh, different files and folders once again in here let's go ahead and click on a PDF if you click on one of these all it will do is give you a um, brief view of it on the right hand side of the window so you can see this is a PDF uh, in the men's basketball folder let's say you want to uh, well let's look at the um, player interest list and there is an Excel spreadsheet just a view you can't modify it or anything like that uh, let's say you actually wanted to um, take one of these and modify it uh, let's go ahead and we'll click on this 2011-2012 men's basketball schedule. And we'll click the blue arrow to the right and a couple things you can do. You can view in full screen or you can print it. We do have an AirPlay printer at Hopewell. It's located in the principal's conference room if you need to print anything from your iPad. Um, you can, and then the next one is open in and it'll ask you what uh, application you want to use to open that document. Um, these are the applications that I have on my iPad that will open Word documents. So we're going to use the Pages application. 
it will then take the Word document that was located in the men's basketball folder and it will put it in the pages application on my iPad. Now all this is saying right here, these it's warnings, all these warnings are saying is that um, the fonts aren't equal. No big deal. Uh, I knew that you know pages and Word are, are very similar but there's going to be some differences. So here is the schedule that I had. I can go ahead and change it. I can put 13. I can put 12. Now, the thing is, is this is not going to update it on the group's drive. All, all you've pretty much done is made a copy of the file onto your iPad, and now you're making changes so you can email it or print it or, or do whatever. You can send it back to yourself, save it to Dropbox, whatever. So let's go back to the file browser application. All right, once again, we will uh, click on the 2011-2012 men's basketball schedule.docx. Um, you can email this. Okay, once again, I told you you can view in full screen or print it, open it in a document. Uh, you can rename the file, delete the file if you want. Uh, you can open up uh, as an email, or you can, I'm sorry, you can send it as an email attachment or you can make a copy of, of that file. So uh, just some different things for you to do if you need access to uh, your home folder or the groups drive on the server. Uh, and remember that in order to do this you must be uh, connected to a CMS network so you can't do this from home. This will not work from home. Right now I'm connected to Hopewell's wireless network and uh, in order to do this you must be connected to a CMS network. Uh, that's it for our tutorial on the file browser application.